Cool. So what does it mean to be part of this squad? I mean, coming off you know what, some injury troubles and that yep. sort of thing. How are you feeling? Yeah, personally, it means a lot. I mean, playing for your country. I mean, it's the highest honour you can have in the, in the sport I'm playing. So, yeah, personally, especially for how long I've been out, it, it really meant, it does mean a lot to me. And uh, first time I played in Australia for a, sorry in Australia for Australia in a long time. So. Looking forward to my family seeing me play for the first time, so uh, that's going to be good. Ideally, would you play every game or would there be some management through the series? Ideally, I'd play every game I can, but I mean, I think we've got a, a play, travel play, you know, back to back in Adelaide Hobart, so see how I pull up after that one, but uh, yeah, hopefully play more. Will you play any shield action at all this summer or is that completely off? Uh, I will if I'm not selected for Australia after Christmas. Um, again, a lot will have to go under the, work, under the bridge for that. Uh, Got to get my loads up, get my body right and stuff mm. like that. So there's, there's a lot of things I've got to get right, but if I can, I will, yeah. Now you've had so many stops and starts over the years. What's that like building up each time and then <laughs> obviously when things don't go your way? Yeah, it's not ideal. Um, sort of like, you know, I don't know how you describe it. You, you put all this work into getting right. In some cases, 12 months to get right. And then you get back, you play for Australia. And then, you know, a week later, you, you're back on the sidelines. You've got another eight, 10 months off. I mean, it's, it's really hard to describe. It really does take a toll. Um, I've been lucky enough that I've had a really good family structure and support, um, but yeah, it, it is really hard. And if it happened again, it would be really hard to go again. I think. And back injuries? Is there anything you can do to, to try to avoid any stress fractures? And well, I could stop that? bowling. Yeah. I mean, that would uh, <laughs> that would help. But now I've done everything I can. I'm working on my action every every uh, every day, trying to get strong. You know, gym, Pilates, flexible yoga. I'm, you know, we did yoga with bangers this morning, so. You know, I'm, I'm doing as much as I can to get it right, um, but again, it's cricket, it's going to happen. Um, hopefully it doesn't, but it's just the way it goes. Yeah. The yoga and Pilates, is that something new? That... Yeah, something I've, I've, yeah, we always do a little bit here, but I've just tried to really rush into it head, you know, uh, head on this year and do it two, two to three times a week when I can. Obviously when I'm away, it's a little bit harder, but um, yeah, just trying to do everything I can. You mentioned your family, what would it mean to them to be able to watch you play a one day out in WA? If you yeah, like I said, it, 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 it's hard on me, but I mean, it doesn't, you know, equate to how hard it is on them seeing me have to go through it, not being able to do anything. Um, you know, it, it does it does hurt them more. I feel like I've let them down, and you know, obviously I haven't. They're they're supportive of me all the time, all the time. So um, hopefully I can reward them and get a game for for um, Australia in Perth in your stadium and play well. Nathan, you've been following for the likes of Lynn Maxwell, Finch in the Nets over here and then uh, in the UAE. What can we expect from them when they play that first game on Sunday? Yeah, like I said, I'm actually lucky enough I'm not bowling too much in the Nets, so I don't have to bowl to them. But uh, look, it's, it's, everyone always says it when you have a bit of a bad choice, they, you say you're hitting them well in the Nets. Um, I feel they haven't been. I feel they've been you know, <laughs> struggling in the Nets, but then they've gotten here and they've really, I don't know what it is, but in Australia they just seem to, they seem to fire. And uh, I, I can personally say I hate bowling to Linney and Finchie. Like, I hate it. It's scary in the games, and they should take that confidence into these games. You know, you know, Hoff and Starkey are scared bowling to them. I'm sure the South Africans are as well. We didn't see Mitchell Stark in the UAE. Do you know where he's at? Yeah, I think he's all right. I think it was just more a management thing. Um, obviously, bowled a lot in the tests. It was hard. It was tough. Um, getting right for these this big Australian summer. So I think he's all right. Yeah. How highly do you rate Stain, Rubada? Is so. <laughs> their bowling attack? Yeah, impression? obviously world class. Like I mean. Best in the world, Rabada stay in the record states for you know for themselves, and obviously to here is a wicket machine. So I mean, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a good challenge, and I, but I think our, our batters have uh, faced them a lot. So I mean, it's probably not something new for us.